Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Now it's time I'm just charging to 90% and then I do the 90 km an hour range test. Why 90 km an hour? Because that's an average what a normal person does when you, when you drive city and uh, co uh, country road. And that's why I did an extra test with highway testing. And then we, I, drive, I start with 90%, drive down to, I don't know, 50 and then come back here. So let's go. Here, I'm on my way, um, I'm already at, at 80%, I started with 90 and I drove 52 kilometers. Consumption is amazing, even though I have the AC on. It's not too warm, 24 degrees out there. But, um, I started at 12.14 by the way, but the sun is, is pretty strong. Driving at the 91, GPS speed 90, listening to music. Um, nice drive, very comfortable at 90. Who is there an ID3? I think there's an ID3 behind me that's gonna pass me. <laughs> is it? I know it's so bad. This is hard to see. I think so. <laughs> Funny. Um, yeah, auto steer. I, I tested. I wanted to test what happens if you don't touch it. And since I'm a Tesla noob, when you did that, then you get, then you can't use it anymore. Hold steering wheel warning has been ignored. Yeah, it's really an ID3 passing me. Woohoo, from Munich. There we go, in gray. <laughs> I'm at 65%, that means I have used 25, drove 131 kilometers, that would mean, whoop, now I'm 66, uh, okay, it just showed 65, uh, <laughs> okay, back in a minute, now, <laughs> 65%, 132 kilometers, that would mean 264, 528 average consumption is amazing we're at 24 degrees outside I still have AC on 21 degrees it's been so far almost a perfect run I mean I passed a few trucks average speed is above 89 kilometers an hour I'm very happy with this I will go to 200 kilometers and then turn around go so I drive around 400 kilometers that should be enough because I've seen at the 130 kilometers an hour test that the state of charge is pretty linear so it goes down the same way from 20 to 10 than it is from 80 to 70 for example and that's good so when I'm at 200 kilometers uh, driven I will navigate to back to the charger look at the perfect day today hopefully it's the next the next week it's the same thing because next Sunday uh, next Saturday my ID3 is exactly a, ye a year old or a year in my hands and on Sunday September 12th a year ago I did my consumption tests so I want to do a 90 kilometers an hour range test down to 5% or something and then charge to 100% and then see if it's the same consumption overall and same range, that's important, 
and if I get still the same amount of kilowatt hours in the battery. That would be interesting. A year later, degradation. I'm just a bit surprised. I always thought that the Tesla navigation is so amazingly smart. I'm driving 100 right now because there was so much slow traffic. So my average speed is extremely slow. So, and the consumption doesn't go up, so it's fine. I'm just going uh, 100 because my average speed right now is 87. I want to get it up to 89 that's more representative but it thinks I it need I need 80 minutes to drive 160 kilometers I can do that in that time so it's taking 130 kilometers and also it thinks I arrived with 2% and just gave me a warning that I should stay under 130 I never went at 130 for the last three hours and again this is this is data is all wrong i'm a bit disappointed i thought they do that a bit better than other cars or google and another thing is the seats are horrible when it's warm so if the air conditioning on it the air inside is nice and comfy but my back of uh, is is sweating like crazy with these leather seats oh it's horrible not a fan of that for a long distance drive this is not nice in the summer in the winter i'm sure it's okay but like this nah, don't like it but i will only drive for the next 10 20 minutes then i go back to the 91. I'm at 40%, um, driving almost exactly three hours and 267 kilometers was the thing. So what is that? 520, 534. And average speed is a bit under, I would say 88. So I slope back down to the 91. Average consumption is still 128. It also means we have 68 kilowatt hours, if this is right, available for driving at that speed. You know, charging loss. Uh, uh, um, if you drive faster, battery gets warm and then you have more heat loss. Still nice weather, 25 degrees. Even had to, to turn down the, the, the AC a bit more. Yeah, it's it diff temperature in here is different than in my ID3. My ID3, 21 degrees feels cold, but in here 20.5 is still okay, even though it's not hot outside. Okay, still have 126 kilometers to go. Car thinks I arrive now with six percent. It will be more. It still thinks I'm going 130. But I'm not. Wrong. 
I arrived with 18% till 24 degrees and I drove 396 kilometers, average consumption 127. Oh my god! Um, I will now look at Google Maps. As always, what Google Maps says the whole trip was, I guess it will be 398, something, 97, very close, and then we calculate the range. So I looked at Google Maps, 397 kilometers, so just 800 meters more than the car says. Perfect. I put the average speed here and everything, so you can see that. Oh, when did we arrive? Yeah, it's in the video. <laughs> I will put it in there uh, um, uh, because I looked at the state of charge. But with that, uh, and seven, we, I used 72%. I started at 90, arrived with 18. That means 551 kilometers of range with the AC on. This car has less consumption than my ID3 when the, this is an SUV, less. Uh, more efficient and uh, better consumption than my ID3 when the AC is on. So, very, very impressive. God, it's dirty. <laughs> oh God, very, very impressive. I like this car a lot. I will do a like and dislike video tomorrow. There are some things that are a bit weird. Um, well now, go home and rest a bit. It was a lot of driving. Oh God, 1200 kilometers in two days. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.